you're craving a steaming bowl of comfort food infused with aromatic spices and creamy coconut goodness, you've come to the right place. This quick chicken laxa is a great way to turn a rotisserie chicken into a fantastic meal with a real depth of flavour. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now this chicken laxa is ready in 20 minutes using some fantastic shortcuts. Now I know it's not a traditional chicken laxa, but it ticks all the boxes for me and it tastes fantastic. So let's get cooking. Heat a tablespoon of oil over a medium heat in a large frying pan. Now add in three cloves of minced garlic, two teaspoons of ginger paste, one teaspoon of lemongrass paste, a finely chopped red chilli and a teaspoon of fish sauce and then fry it all together stirring constantly for two minutes. Now we add in about 185 to 200 grams of laxa paste which is about seven ounces and then stir all that together and fry for a further two to three minutes until bubbling and fragrant. Now I'm using a shop-bought laxa paste here because this is a really quick recipe but if you want to make your own laxa paste then check out my seafood laxa video which I'll leave a link to at the end of this video. I'll also put a link in the description as well. Add in a 400ml or 14 ounce tin of full fat coconut milk plus 300ml which is about 10 and a half ounces of chicken stock. Stir it all together and bring to the boil. Now we're going to add in the shredded meat from a small cooked rotisserie chicken plus 300 grams or 10 and a half ounces of cooked fresh vermicelli noodles. We're also going to add in 200 grams which is about 7 ounces of fresh bean sprouts and a tablespoon of fresh lime juice. Now stir it all together and cook for about three to four minutes, keeping everything moving around the pan until the chicken, noodles and bean sprouts are hot. And now we're ready to serve. I like to use a set of tongs to divide the chicken, noodles and bean sprouts between bowls and then ladle that soupy broth over the top. Now you know I love my toppings, so we're gonna finish this laxa off with some chili crisp, some fresh coriander, some crispy onions and some fresh lime wedges. And there we go, all ready in less than 20 minutes. It smells absolutely delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Now, if you wanna cook your own chicken in the air fryer, then check out my video here. And if you wanna make your own laxa paste, then check out my video here. See you next time.